you can take as many pictures or video as you want. But nothing beats viewing your past memories like a 3D scan. At first, it seemed really complicated and honestly impossible to me. But in reality, all you really need is any camera, your phone camera is good, and free software. I'm not joking when I say everyone should really turn their room into a 3D model because it's really that easy. You just turn a few pictures into something really awesome. If we only count the hours, a large chunk of your life is spent in your bedroom, maybe doing homework or even trying something new. But throughout the years, it changes as we grow, sometimes in ways you control, but other times, you have to say goodbye and move on. Over the years, I've learned to capture moments, not just big milestones, 500. but also the small, everyday moments. But there's one place I realized I hadn't really captured. The reason I'm actually closing everything is because I want for the light to be constant. All my photos have to be the same. That's why I'm closing this and use only indoor lighting. This is much better. And actually, before you even take pictures, you should add a few things here or there to make it more personal. For example, this is a hotel room, so I decided to put my travel luggage here or the backpack in the back and you start to take the pictures slowly. Make sure the pictures actually overlap each other by about like 70%. Don't take random pictures. Make sure there's a certain type of movement and overlap to the photo order so that the program knows. The next step is to actually just put them in your computer. And once you enter, it might look complicated, but it actually is super easy. You first save your folder where all your information will be in. And for some reason, this last note here, just change the setting to PNG. Otherwise, you cannot visualize it correctly. And then click on Compute. And now we wait. Actually, it takes a few hours, so maybe just leave it plugged in somewhere. But the most impressive thing is that it automatically, after everything, it detects where the pictures were taken. You see, each of these things is a camera where the shot was taken, and it automatically detected. There's the bed, as you can see, and I find this to be really impressive, just from a few pictures. We all take photos to remember moments, but rarely the places that actually held them. So before you move or before things change, take a few photos. A few of them already capture so much. Completely different now. But turning into a 3D scan makes it feel tangible again. It's not the same as photos and videos, but being able to move around makes it feel oddly satisfying. It's a small creative project that turns your room into something timeless.